Hello YouTube and welcome to the start of a brand new series. Let's play. I, I'm so I'm so in my head about let's play as a as a term, but uh, regardless, we're playing Nubia here today, and we have a fascinating start. Uh, so Nubia is a very very cool civ, and we want to prioritize the Nubian pyramid, which has to go on desert, hopefully next to our city center. Um, so we have ourselves a continent split, which I think is pretty interesting. We have a silk tile, which I love to see in combination of desert. Uh, this is a lakes map with hot on. Uh, so we should have a fair amount of desert in general, allowing us to utilize our Nubian pyramid. Now, how do we feel? Now, how do we feel? Because the question in mind was, do we settle in place? Do we settle the silk? And I was considering settling here as well. But I'm wondering if I just settle in place now. So let's let's look at some planning. If I settle in place, we can get the Nubian Pyramid here. We can get a campus there. And then... And then either just like a commercial hub holy site... Exclamation point mods will get you to all of our mods. Hi, Dentrasi. Welcome in, everybody. I like... I'm almost liking this... Okay, here's here's why I don't want to go with the Silk Settle. Here's why I don't want to go with the Silk Settle. We're moving away... Now, I'm not, I'm not moving away from a whole heck of a lot over here other than farmland. But I'm worried that we're not going to have enough... Um, that we're not going to have enough workable tiles if we move towards the desert. If I settle in place, we basically get to keep one, two, three. That's not very many. No, mods don't disable achievements with this game. It's not the most exciting pyramid in the world, but 40% production towards these districts is pretty sweet. Um, I think I'm talking myself into settling in place. One to the right is not ideal because you can't get a, uh, a Nubian Pyramid then. Machu Rush would be incredible. What if we just settle this and turn this into a Pyramid? I don't necessarily gain a lot is the problem. Other than maybe throwing pyramids here. I don't think we're petrying cap. I also don't think this is better. So I think I just like settling in place. I think this is better. We just settle in place and hope for the best. Maybe we'll have horses here. It's like decent, decent districts and things here. I think we settle in place. Let's do it. All right. So I was mentioning to chat that Nubia is one of the few civs I feel justified going scout into builder. Uh, and the purpose of that would be to get the craftsmanship boost. But we can only do that if we have tiles uh, to improve, right? And so we need to prioritize that somewhat early or we need to prioritize pyramids. Uh, both of those are fine options to do. Um... We get a 2-2 city center. We get to work this silk, which means we should expand to tiles soon enough, uh, which should include the sheep and then hopefully these farms as well. So I think the first plan is to go towards animal husbandry. Uh, we're going to want to unlock our uh, potato archers or, or uh, uh, patati. There we go. Patati archers as well. But animal husbandry maybe into irrigation so that we can do something with these builder charges, I think makes sense. And we might have horses here. That could, that could be beneficial as well. Let's see what we can do with this. Sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Could be a sweet settle down there somewhere. I can see like a city down here and like a government plaza. 
What if we government plaza here and then built cities around... Ooh, that could be good. That could be thing. Hey, Hobbitfoot. Thank you very much. I'm glad you're enjoying the YouTube content. It's great to be back. Is this... No, I didn't see... I didn't... I haven't seen Tundra yet. Let's not complain. Settle the sugar? Yeah, that could be a thing. Really good districts in there, potentially. I guess I'll keep double moving with this warrior. We have some amazing... If we can get Machu Picchu, or take Machu Picchu... This looks like an incredible Machu Picchu type of type of land. This is the type of game where Machu Picchu becomes S tier. Maybe. Maybe. All right, there's our scout. And if we settle our second city on this continent, uh, we'll get some era score, which would be nice. And then I suppose we move this way. All right, good. We got another productive tile in the marble. We'll probably need an industrial zone. Maybe. That's just the quarry. Should see if the northeast is Petra worthy. Yeah, I think we will certainly scout that out. I don't know what we're doing here quite yet, but we'll see. We will see. Um, I suppose this city could just go here. Anonymous Gifter with 10 gifted subs. <laughs> thank you, Anonymous Gifter. That's incredibly kind of you. Cheers and thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Yeah, we'll see. I, I need a little bit more. Wait, it was me? Pwned? <laughs> Pwned, thank you. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. I appreciate it a lot. So if I go for builder here, I could I could I could go scout and then builder. My man. I could actually sneak in scout builder and then about the same time that will grow although it makes it eight pendant thank you for the follow and thank you very very much pwned i appreciate you i think i still like working the culture it shaves three turns off of a uh, code of laws so we can go scout scout builder and then that will give us time to tech the things we need to tech so animal husbandry into pottery into irrigation i think Thank you, Pwned. Happy holidays and happy New Year's Eve to you as well. Not a lot of production in our cap. We can mine these uh, volcanic tiles eventually. So we've got silk. We've got a lot of plantations. That could be a Pantheon consideration. There's the Tundra. Okay. I figured we'd find Tundra somewhere. We found it. We found the Holy Grail! That is exciting. That is incredibly exciting. Gives us a governor too. What are we gonna do with this governor? Void is okay, especially we already have a relic, which is kind of cool. You can do exclamation point mods, and you can get all my mods. This isn't really Petra worthy, but it's certainly newbie and pyramid worthy. Oh, 
Hi, Kingdom Eyes. Because this is all desert. Do a district triangle here. Multiple rivers here, though, which is kind of uh, awkward. So are your first multiplayer with fam with family or with friends? Nice, Kingdom Eyes. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Yeah, these are desert floodplains. So we could certainly do some interesting stuff. Potentially like this. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. All right, where are you going? I like this deer tile. So we'll finish this scout and we'll send this scout west. I think I like Amani as an early governor still. We'll see. Hmm. So does it update? Okay, it did actually update for the relic. I don't know our exact plans yet, but starting to see some ideas at, at least so jade and olives on this continent as well oh thank you danny i will try to fix that quick deals goes to detailed map tax whoopsies this looks coast ish hmm hmm I don't know what our victory plan is. She's good at space races, especially if you can get the 40% uh, district bonus. But our capital isn't a good enough space race uh, cap. So it'll be interesting to see how things go. All right. Let's put in. We don't need a god king, thankfully. We can just run urban planning and survey. Can I explain why I didn't pick a governor immediately to get the bonuses online faster? So I'm saving this first governor promotion for Amani. Um, if you can get a first meet and then get Amani Vision, it's very, very beneficial. It'll help you get a Golden Age because if you can get first time Suze, that is um, two era score. And, you, and it's also repeatable. So I tend to save this first governor promotion for Amani. There's also not a lot of tier one promotions that are going to give us that big of a bonus. Uh, and so I think I'm I'm usually happier saving that first promo. That's a good question. Thank you, Mad Admiral. Always good to expound on thought process. Okay. Six turns on growth, six turns on the builder. That's perfect. Yeah, you move her around, exactly. Is it an add-on governor? No. Yeah, thanks, Boned. Yeah, thanks, thanks everybody. Thanks for hanging out today. Very exciting. So we are working towards our craftsmanship boost. Um, I may have to tech off of this. I do want the Eureka. I suppose we could go right for foreign trade, but we have no one to send a trade route to. I think I'll put some culture into craftsmanship. And then next turn we find out if we have horses. That could that could affect our district plans here. I bet we do. Got to be horses here. If there are no dogs in, no horses. There's some horses. Okay. I don't really want to go scout the tundra, but I also don't want to get totally overwhelmed by barbs. <laughs> What's up, Rainru? Just getting started. I've only been playing about 15 minutes. Ooh, all right, so here's somebody, and this is where the Amani thing should help. This is a big, flat desert. 
not a huge fan. Pog. Pog, Pog, Pog. So we got a Relic and a Scout. Ooh. Okay. This is very flat. It's incredibly flat. Yeah, I, those are those are two top. T That's like the perfect order for uh, Goody Huts, by the way. Relic and then Scout. Religious city state. I would certainly play some Red Death today too, if we're looking for uh, Civ related variety activities. This, I don't want this desert to hurt me, but oh well. Ooh, somebody's down here too. Nazca? Oh, if this is Nazca? If this is Nazca, we are incredibly happy. I could see Hermetic on this map too. There's a lot of flat desert tiles for ley lines. I could see YOLOing Hermetic if we can find the uh, invite. The good news is we wouldn't have to commit to it if we miss. Because there's that there's that whole reload feature. All right, not Nazca, but is a first meet. They want bronze working. And uh, I really don't mind giving them a couple tiles. So here's where Amani comes in. We send it here. We got the first meet, so we have the first envoy. So this should be a suzerain, which will give us a couple of nice era score. And then all we really have to do is settle a city on this continent, which should not be hard to do. Nazca gives you a flat desert tile improvement that could be really cool for us, given the uh, prevalence of all of this. There's our owls invite as well. So here's another two era score that we just found. Thanks to Amani and saving that first title. Okay, there's a barb camp. We can buy a warrior for 95 gold. There's a wonder. Oh. Oh, yeah, totally. I hadn't caught that. But yeah, that is an abnormal tile yield. Is that, um, what is this? Taurus? I think it's Taurus. Craftsmanship boost? Okay, we'll get that too. I might be able to naturally seize them. Maybe we'll find more vision. I'd like my scout to find that as well. Ooh, so Desert Folklore is available. So thank goodness for this relic because it got us to our Pantheon very quickly. So quickly that we actually have religious settlements available as well. Um, could do plantations. Do I want faith? Because Desert Folklore could be really good. Plus, Work Ethic actually really solves some of our production issues in our capital, too. Yeah, Lady could be good, too, for, these, for this. Although, I kind of want to district on this. Let's, um, I'm going to pause the recording while we debate the merits of this in chat. So we're going to pause the recording. If you're wanting to get involved in discussions, detailed discussions about the merits of what Pantheon we're going to pick here, please stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic and come join us live in person on the internet. Going to pause you. We will see you in a moment when we decide. Hello, YouTube. We are back. We have decided we've, we've debated the merits of all of these, uh, all of these different 
pantheon choices it's hard to turn up turn down the settler because it's so rarely available uh and we only got to it because of our relic which was obviously super super lucky um plantations is certainly viable but kind of boring for what we're trying to do i really think the fact that folklore is here is is what i want to be doing um this 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 will turn this into a plus uh five holy site we can we can we can redo with with uh with folklore in mind but uh th this i think plus maybe work ethic gives us a really really viable uh flexible sort of build early build that we're going into uh and so i really think i like folklore for the uh faith from desert tiles here uh, and then we can maximize some stuff maybe take worth work ethic and then hit monumentality golden ages seems pretty darn tasty to me so desert folklore it is no immediate benefit which is certainly something to consider with Pantheons. I want the scout to find the wonder, ideally. And we've got a good, like, sparse desert kind of throughout, allowing us to settle cities with our Pantheon in mind. So I think I like that. And again, I don't want to find this wonder quite yet. <clears throat> I want my scout to do it for the XP. I don't have a victory condition in mind, Montego Way. Um, maybe space, maybe domination. There are lots of viable options. And we'll just have to kind of see how it goes. All right, so we're about to get vision here. So I think what we want to do is send our scout north. Yeah, we've got we don't have any really close neighbors, which is interesting. Pet <laughs> nice, Mad Admiral. Do I want to consider bringing the warrior back? Yeah, I'm going to loop the warrior back down. Looks like we're at the bottom of the map. Might as well kind of go explore this and then probably have the warrior loop back for this. In 3 turns we can buy a warrior as well. The it no, it's oh, it is seeing my pantheon now. Yeah, it's seeing my pantheon now. So this might be the better holy site. Although, I could just do this. Knowing that we're likely to uh, to do some stuff around it. I don't know. Maybe this is fine. Maybe that's fine. We'll have to buy some tiles for it, which I'm not stoked about. This is one tile closer. We'll see. We'll see. We could take a slightly worse holy site, I suppose. All right, first things first, I want this farm. And then let's get our settler going. Feels weird scouting Tundra as Nubia, but so be it. What tier is Nubia's music? It's pretty high tier. I like Nubia's music. It's got flooded. Should have gone here and then up, but oh well. Oh well. Snow. We could do we could do a space race with uh Adminson. Looks like we'd have a, a an interesting city for it. Lots of horses up there. Okay. You're also seeing the builder charges on this. That's part of a mod that we're using. So two charges left now. And then we go to astrology. Beowulf. Found some Beowulf. Found the archer, Eureka. I honestly don't even hate that. And I think I'm going to take Ranger just so we can sneak over here. Normally, I'm a huge, huge fan of Alpine. Honestly, this, this map is not particularly hilly. Especially for a New World Age map. I guess this area is pretty decent. So is that. But 
We'll figure that out later. And we have our promo, so I'm going to take Ranger, because I think we're going to get our second promo on this guy, too. So we'll just make him a Super Scout. Still working those two, I agree. I suppose we could have gone for the immediate boost here first. But I wanted to make sure we got that Eureka. Yeah, I like our Pantheon choice. The more and more we're seeing about these, uh, like, that's a really nice holy site. One, two, three. Figure that out in a second. We'll do some fun city planning with Nubia. Oh. Um. Okay, I guess we're going this way. Awkward. Awkward. Did not expect that. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And we get Mulan as a result there as well. Nobody else around, so they got the uh, marble and the maze, but that is all. Population. Interesting. Interesting. How do factories work in late game? Does every city need them? No. You, you certainly don't need every city to have factories. Centralized industrial zones, Imperator. Get them early if you're going to get them. Did the volcano have lake tile yields? Oh yeah. It's a lake volcano. Huh? Uh. Huh? I don't, I don't, I don't know what to think of that. That, uh, that does not compute to me. <laughs> we are running a bunch of mods. So there's every chance, yeah, that's Taurus. There's every chance that we're screwing up the game with how many mods we're running. No man ever wetted clay. All right, so there's pottery. Suppose we just cross. Yeah, I've never seen that either. Have I ever tried a game with more sims than just mine? No, I like to just free sim. Several closely sim. <laughs> and there's her medic. Oh man. Oh man. Of course there are barbs. What if we just Oh man, I really want to get around this. Yeah, we could throw Amani down there. It's true. We have a lot of land. Who have we discovered, heroes? We have Beowulf, Hippolyta, Maui, and Mulan. Maui could be interesting for our capital, just adding in a couple resources. All right, so when we get our next governor title, we might uh, we might take a peek, take a hermetic order peek. Kind of the only time I'm willing to save scum, and I feel like it's because they should give us a preview. Plenty of time on her age. Can I get around this? One, two, three, minus, plus. I think I need to go this way. I don't think I can tank. I think if I move into the marsh, that I might take an attack there. I don't want to do that. I'd rather just get to finding era score. All right, there's horseback riding as a Eureka. And then in eight turns, we'll be able to get this.
so much flat desert. This 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 map though. Erupted. We still have the woods. That's interesting. We can get a barbarian horseman or a warrior. Why not rush holy site to religion and work ethic? Uh, I think we'll be able to get work ethic as not the first one. Usually they love to take... Um, Things like choral music and feed the world. Do I want to buy this? Rare city? This is absolutely worthy. <laughs> yeah, we'll look at that in a second. But you're, you're absolutely right. Next turn, we get our Settler. I think it's way too big of a stretch. Yeah, this is Barbarian mode. Where is everybody? I mean, I'm not complaining. Oh! We could get a Pog Scout. It's pretty expensive, and it does not help us deal with the Barbarians. But that is the Kree Scout, and it's very good. It would be our fourth Scout. Which I'm not sure if that's super necessary. Booyah! Thank you for the 25 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. They're basically as strong as warriors, but they're not the same class as warriors. Warriors have a combat strength Mommy. against spearmen. And so they're not as strong at, as far as like taking out camps and stuff. And that's one of my major concerns right now is I'm trying to get a city down and I don't want to get overwhelmed by barbs. Uh, Mr. Panician? Panician? <laughs> Welcome in. Thank you, thank you. I don't think we get error score for the unique unit. No, it does not mean that Kree's in the game either. Oh, yeah. It means Kree's not in the game. Yes, indeed. Indeed. I think I need to buy a warrior. Because if I buy the warrior now... Actually, I can actually buy it next turn and move it with the settler. But where is the city going? Is not much of a good city. Not much of a second, a good second city, at least. Lacking a lot of production. Yeah, this is what I'm worried about. Did I ever play Alpha Century? I did not, know. Second city over here. I'd really like to settle a new continent for the era score. We need 11 era score here. I could certainly see a city here, but it's not particularly good. We could settle it there, an aqueduct. I don't know. Because if I go settle this, they have no good tiles. That's a nice tile. I could see this being fine. Although, if there's a Petra, I kind of want to prioritize that as well. I 
Barbarian Clans mode adds in just this. Uh, once this progress bar is full, this will turn into a city state, which is kind of cool. Uh, you can you can bribe them to not attack you. You can bribe them to encourage uh, them to attack your opponents. You can also hire units out of it, although not every turn. <sighs> yeah, I could see this. I could see that is the city that we should go to. Maybe we'll head in that direction. Uh, Cyan, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. All right, now what do we sneak in? I can go right for another settler. I think I like going for the monument, though. Um... Are there other people on this map? Let me let me let me talk about why I don't think a builder is a good is a good choice here. So we already have three improved tiles, and a while to go before we even get to the next one. Um, once you're once you have more citizens and you have improved tiles, then it's time for a builder. Uh, but I don't think that time is now. We'll expand to this. We'll, we will need another builder sooner rather than later. Um, but I don't think it's the right choice at the moment. Yeah, Lakes Map seems pretty darn big. Nobody on Profits, nobody on Great People of any kind quite yet. There's somebody. I guess be careful what you wish for. Yeah, it's 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 a great question. You know, like I love I love I love being able, and I'm not coming down on anybody. Like the the, the beautiful thing about Civ is there's there's really no, th there are multiple correct choices, right? There are multiple correct things that you can do within a game, um, and I don't play perfectly. I don't claim to. But I just think I think the value is in the discussion. Peppermint Butler, who will forever be Dido in my mind. All right, she's all the way up there. Okay, we have so much room. Goes great bath. I'm getting I'm getting horses from here, I assume. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, YOLO. Don't interrupt on me. Please don't interrupt on me. Yeah, with this much room, making an Ancestral Hall play makes sense. Oh, good. There's Alex. All right. Well, we found somebody to fight if we really want to, and it's Alex. And I can get another unit now. I, that's that's an opinion for you all to uh, to decide. Dash ass out of interest. Who's the mostly most highly regarded Civ player uh, in the community amongst the streamers? Obviously, we all play deity, but there, is there someone who's a bit better than the rest? Uh, I will defer. 
I will defer to Peppermint Butler as one of the best, uh, if not the best, technical player in terms of single player deity. It's 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 hard to uh, jump in on uh, multiplayer stuff because it's a very different game, and I just I'm not as in tune with it. Uh, but I think Peppermint is uh, kind of stands above the rest. That is no disrespect to all of my fellow Civ streamers, um, who are all all equally amazing in in their ways. But uh, I just think Peppermint Butler is pretty darn good. Every nation lives by exchanging. One of the most prolific. If I settle here, I can't settle the Jade. I don't know that I care about that. I'm thinking of doing an off-water settle. I guess I could settle in place. No, I don't really want to settle the Jade, just period. Normally, I love that. Uh, Lou Harami, thank you for the follow. I can just settle this. And say forget the... Um... So if we settle this... The Nubian Pyramid. Get this. Get this. Get this. They don't get a bonus for the government plaza, do they? They don't get food, do they? For government plaza stuff? Because I, I, I should be prioritizing my government plaza. I left you a late Christmas gift on PayPal. Yeah, I need to I need to link that up again. Hold on. Let me thank you. We are playing Nubia. Holy butts. Dude. Yo, thank you so much incredibly donate incredibly generous uh panda wants cookie that's an insane donation thank you so so much thank you so so much my goodness cheers to you cheers 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 and and merry christmas and happy new year and yeah much love to you thank you for the generosity and support thank you thank you um what if we what if we shuffle this Mommy. a bit Or what if we want to really think about this as well? Ion, thanks for the follow. Let's go ahead and take a break. Let's put a cut in the video and really think about this settle. Uh, again, if you want to be around for choices like this, don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic and come join us live in person on the internet. We're going to do some district shenanigans uh, and, and planning here. I'm glad we're settling this way because Alex is really annoying to have there. Uh, and it, the game is probably about to get much more interesting. So thanks for watching. If you're watching over on YouTube, we will see you next time.